Hello everyone. Hope you're having a great Friday. Uh, it's the end of another week and headed towards another weekend. I uh, hope you'll uh, be able to join us this weekend or church. We'll have uh, 1030 on Sunday morning, uh, 930 Sunday school, 1030 church. Uh, come and join us if you can or if not we'll be online either on Facebook or uh, YouTube uh, at 1030. Well, let's jump back into our uh, Choosing Gratitude uh, devotional from uh, YouVersion Bible app, Bible.com. Uh, their number just keeps going up. It's about uh, one per second or so that they, uh, I think they're over, I don't know, I forget what it is now. But, uh, but anyway, it's a big number and we're thankful for that. Uh, but, but today, we, we've, yesterday we started into this new series on Choosing Gratitude. It'll lead us up to Thanksgiving and uh, and we'll we'll go back to that one that we were doing on the Bible, but uh, uh, I think this is a good study because it, it kind of helps us focus on things that we need to be thankful for, and and I think especially uh, kind of unique. Some of these things are are unique. Uh, you know why? You know we we <laughs> sometimes we we just take for granted certain things. Like yesterday's we talked about those friends, those those people that are really close to us, and our go-to people that we can call and, uh, you know, makes me think of, uh, my niece's son, uh, little Mark, we call him. He, uh, talks about his people and, and that's us, his family. But, uh, you know, that's, that's who that was. You know, we need to be thankful for those people and recognize who they are, what they mean to us. And, and today's we're, we're, it's kind of falling along with that. It's called shared for shared tables choosing gratitude for uh, shared uh, tables. And, and I mentioned this, the, the, the one that uh, did this is Amy Seifert. Uh, she's an author and uh, uh, speaker that's, uh, uh, she has some really good stuff. She has quite a bit on the Version Bible app. So I encourage you maybe to look up some of her stuff. But, but this one's on gratitude and I, I thought it's good. Let me share. Day two the, for shared tables. Uh, how, and this is a quote from Henry Nowen. Uh, famous author and uh, this is reaching out the three movements of the spiritual life. This is one of from one of his books. His hospitality means primarily the creation of free space where the stranger can enter and become a friend instead of an enemy. Hospitality is not to change people, but to offer them space where change can take place. It's not to bring men and women over to our side, but to offer freedom not disturbed by dividing lines. Uh, there's so much to divide us, and it divides us. And I, I think there is something to be grateful for when we do have kind of a shared table, when we can come together and eat together, socialize together, that kind of thing. I think there's a lot of that's missing in our world today. And I, uh, one of the things I, I just was reading an article a little while ago on on uh, the possibility of a civil war in the United States, which which you know we don't like to think about, but uh, there's so much division that that. Uh, you know, sort of things are right for that kind of thing to happen and it'd be a, a real tragedy. And so we need to find ways to, to get along, ways to agree, agree, you know, agree on the things that we can and, and uh, move forward with that. Uh, so it was, it was really a kind of a heartbreaking article, but well, let me read you for you the, the uh, uh, devotional here. It says, during my first year of marriage, I found myself often at the kitchen bar in the White House that shared our backyard. My neighbor and I would get up early, work out together, and then she would make us egg sandwiches while her baby slept. We chatted easily about anything and everything, egg yolk dripping down our chins. It was a tiny table, a simple offering, a rich gesture. It, it seems a table, a bar, the floor will do. So will an egg, tea, leftover cake. The point isn't the content of the offering. The point is the content of the heart. She wasn't hurried or anxious or too busy to offer a space for freedom and growth to enjoy. When we make space at the table for others, we make space for our hearts to expand. We stretch, we listen, we empathize, we extend a hand. When space has been made for me, I have known healing and kindness and laughter and freedom and God. Aren't we grateful for the shared tables we've been a part of, the laughter, the chaos, the, the sacred space? We can stop and recall the spaghetti, the last minute stay for dinner, the backyard barbecue. And as we sit cozy and grateful, thinking about the tables we've shared, we vow to do it more often, both with those who are easy and those who are harder. Who can we invite to our table this week, offering peanut butter and jelly and a humble heart? Uh, I like that. I, I think this is what uh, 
you know, the real, real power sort of in small groups that, that John Wesley uh, talks so much about. You know, we need to meet together and come together and, and just uh, be together. And, and over, I like that, that list there. I, she says, I, I've known healing and kindness and laughter and freedom and God. Uh, you know, all of these things, God works when we come together in community uh, together. Well, let me, uh, there's, there's a prayer here, but we'll go ahead to uh, the, the scripture passages that are related to this. Uh, the first is 1 Peter 4, 9. It says very simply, offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Uh, you know, there are times when maybe we grumble a little bit over, you know, getting together with people. But, but overall, we need to have a heart that's just open and ready to, to interact with with others, and and I don't know about you, I've known people who are just so good at that. I think of my mom; uh, she was she is so good at at uh, hospitality of of uh, you know it didn't take much, but she could turn it into something special uh, in our family. We had people over or uh, events that that she would plan and, and those kinds of things. It's just a heart that's that's uh, 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 you know ready for hospitality, ready to welcome somebody else in. And I've known others with that. It's really a gift, I think, of, of hospitality. Uh, here's another verse. It says, uh, John 15, 12 to 13. And these are the words of Jesus. He said, my command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has, this and has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. And the idea is giving of ourselves, loving each other, get, being there for each other, providing these opportunities where we can be together and grow together. And then the last passage is Acts 2, 44 to 47. This is what uh, the early church was so well known for. It says, all the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to one and anyone as, who had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and they ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. It, you know, here it had such an impact the 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 hospitality that they had for each other. Uh, it had an impact to the point where others were being saved. Others wanted to be a part of that. And it's a really a, a beautiful thing and we shouldn't take it for granted. And like I said, it's something to be thankful for uh, when we have that, when we know we know that. We, we should choose gratitude for these kinds of things. Uh, thank God for them. Well, let's uh, go to the prayer that they have here. It says, God, thank you for the shared tables. For the spilled milk and the dripping egg and the laughter and the love and the extra plates and the last minute applesauce added to the spread. Thank you for grace, for freedom, for hope in that space. Help us to think of those who need a table this week and to invite them in. Help us to be brave instead of perfect at our offerings. Uh, let's, let's pray together. Continue. Lord, we uh, thank you for uh, really this gift of hospitality. This uh, where you tell us to invite others in, to be a part of our lives, to to eat together around tables and help us to understand that it's not about perfection. It's not about, you know, the, the, the gift, so to speak. It's just that the fit gift is given, not the specific thing that we do, but it's more having a heart that's uh, welcoming, that's open to others. And, and even those that are different than us, uh, those that, as they mentioned in this, uh, uh, you know, they're maybe harder to love. Lord, help us to love them as well, to invite them in. Uh, we know love because of what Jesus has done for us. And Lord, help us to be thankful in, in that. And, and in response, be people of hospitality. Uh, thank you, Lord. We thank you uh, for all that you've done, all that you're doing, all that you're going to do. Uh, we are so thankful, Lord. You are good. Uh, Lord, we uh, lift up those that are in need today, those that need a touch from you, those that are sick, those that are hurting, uh, those that need encouragement and comfort. Lord, just just. Be there for each one. You know our burdens. You know our hearts. And we just lift up each one to you. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, hey, thanks for uh, watching again today. Uh, we'll be back again on Sunday with our uh, services. And then on Monday, we'll come back to, to find some more gratitude. So uh, you have a great rest of your day. And we'll, uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.